Well, we're off to another counter protest, this time because apparently some parents don't like that their kids are taught what it means to be trans and gay. If you can believe that. They want to indoctrinate our kids with ideology about what it means to be straight, but God forbid you do it with queer people. Do you want to say anything? No, I think we're doing about the same thing today. Would anyone here like to do an interview for not Rebel News? <laughs> I'm just glad we could be out here to support children's rights and stand up for letting kids be kids. I am here to support trans kids, to support SOGI, to support LGBT identities being taught and learned about in schools. I'm glad that uh, we're holding this uh, positive counter protest. Thank you to everybody who showed up. Would you like to explain why you think you can impose your beliefs on others? I think I'm protecting my grandkids. Well, protecting them from what? From you. What am I doing that's a uh, danger? Things I don't like. You talk about wanting to read more and learn more, but you want to stop students from learning. Why is that? I was enjoying listening to them talk. I think it's a good question. We want to be. I mean, I'm generally learning in favor what? of kids learning. Just learning in general. You want to ban them from learning certain things. Why are you wanting them to not learn about you see Soji? Why can't you do both? You don't think what should belong in schools? SOGI. Why not? Isn't that just education? Isn't that learning more about the world around you? Nope. In what way? It's a wrong image of the world. According to you. No, it's not You're opinion. pushing your belief That's on people. It's more of an opinion than a fact, yeah. Do you know the difference? It's a biological fact. That's an not opinion. Not a biological fact. No. Is it male? Is it uh, you know, why, that's just wrong though. How is that wrong for you? Because if you talk about biology, biologically, that's not even true. You know what an intersex person is. Is that something I made up? These are real people that exist. How is They're that possible? They're just born because every baby doesn't Read a biology have. book. Yeah, this is biology. Okay, this it's basic biology. biology. It's bullshit. It's biology. That is, bullshit. That is not biology. That is bullshit. That's made up. If this is not made up, why is it that it wasn't existing, I don't know, years ago? It's it did. New. It did exist years ago. Oh, no. But you can't show science that, that, that there's 30 other genders. Well, I didn't say 30, you just said 30. And you want it to be okay for a male to identify as a female and go into my elementary school or high school daughter's bathroom. Are you accusing people of being predators without knowing them? Absolutely No, not. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that I'm here to protect my daughter. I'm asking a question. What would you have uh, happened different than what's happening already? I think that the curriculum is more or less fine as it is, teaching kids about the world around them, their own bodies, and the people in the world that they are going to live in is important. I see. Right, thanks. You've been praying? Yes. What are you praying for? Don't tell me. No, you, you had something to say. You don't want to say anything now? I thought you had something to say. You said you were praying for me. What are you praying for? I love you. You love me? I'm glad. They're the victims, right? Clearly. <laughs> He wanted to like, shower with me when I was in school. Me and all our other kids at Belmoral. You should print this. It should be all over the youth. Robert Noyes, Belmoral, North Vancouver. And he's in jail now. And it's really sad because he should be free so he can be back in the school system and go after people's children, right? Seems like you want to control children and no, dictate what they're children. allowed to learn. Uh, really? When they're 18, they can do whatever they want. When they're young, it's the parents' choice, I'm afraid. Sorry to say. And you know children still all, have autonomy, right? Love you. I'm sure you're going to have that right center. Right? I, I absolutely will. Yep. I've had 50 years of experience, and a lot of it with these people. It's the same people 
Maybe their leaders are different at the front, but trust me, the ones at the back, they're the same people. I went through the abortion era battle. They had pictures of fetuses on their signs. It was morally disgusting. I worked at the BC Teachers Federation and the President's office. Whenever we had a resolution that was on social justice, they the issue. I would get the phone calls of the people yelling and screaming. I'd say to them, I'll talk to you when you stop yelling. If they didn't, I'd hang up. Um, gender is queer is a big one. That's in elementary school. And it's a problem because? This is a man with a beard sucking a guy off. So here's a gentleman sucking his penis. I don't think that should be in elementary school. Maybe I'm crazy and a prude. So you're concerned about kids being taught about sex? Not taught about sex, like as in traditional sex ed for us, because we had sex ed. What correct? is traditional to you? STDs, protection, looking after your body, molestation, those and are, types of things. Are you okay if queer people are included in that? Oh, of course. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm about love. Hey, we love you. We love you guys. We love you guys. We love you. Love. We love you guys. Okay. We love you. That's nice. That's the assumption that no gay people are parents, or no one who supports gay people are parents. I think that we represent the silent uh, majority of Canada that has moved on from these issues, and uh, there's very few people that are um, against this level of progress, so it's good to be uh, yeah, representing what Canada's all about. If you don't know what want kids to be taught, what consent is, if you don't want them to be taught about how to say no to somebody, about what is wrong when somebody tries to abuse them, then it's not that's on you. I don't indoctrinate children against parents' rights. Weren't you Why the group that said bring your kids to this? Huh? Yeah, my kids are down there with my wife. So you're indoctrinating your kids? You guys should Nobody, be fighting don't... for more teachers. There's not enough teachers. Well, there's, there's a completely separate issue and said here. No, but apparently I can be because I identify as a lamp pole today. Right? Does that make me a lamp pole? A lamp poles are usually quieter than this. Right? Our parents. The group that you're aligning yourself with are teaching that gay people are pedophiles. No, no, that is exactly no, what they are saying. Nothing you wrong with gay. L, the G, and the B have been taken over by the T and the Q and the everything else after that. Your right to deny other people's rights is not a right. What if your child is in that group? I know my child isn't in that group. How do you know? How do I know? Can you prove that you're a man? What do you want me to show you my dick? Let children be Please children. Keep your dick away. Why? You can teach them in school. You can show them pictures. Yes, yes but your dick in particular. No, because they don't want to have their touch fucking job. Because it's actually happening for. in reality. But you hate your child and they transition. And put them in jail because of Bill C4. Are you familiar oh, with Bill C4? Oh, God. <laughs> You're totally Would you hate your child and they transition? Or would you love and accept them? Our kids, our rights. Our kids, not yours. Our No one's gonna see them other than themselves over here. Do we have any mainstream media who is incapable of not calling us racist and bigots? Sign pertains 
comes to the mobilization of groups of people by institutions that have never had to pay a dollar of tax coming out in big numbers to try and sway us, try and reach that million person goal that they, you know, are astroturfing to try and make a reality, but it's not a reality because Canadians do not support hate. Canadians support inclusion and education makes for smarter kids, so keep your religions out of our schools and we can keep this country happy and inclusive for everyone in it.